Hi everyone, it's Rachel from rwcrafts.com. I'm really excited to share with you my haunted Halloween birdhouse. It's my first pro project um, as part of the new fall winter 2014 Faber Castell Design Memory Craft guest design team. I'm so excited to be a part of it for this term. And I can't wait to show you how I made this cute little spooky birdhouse. First, I started with this 99 cent birdhouse from Michaels and I gave it two coats of gesso and let it dry completely. And now I am using some gelatos that I'm gonna color randomly all over the side of the birdhouse. I used gelatos double scoop in raspberry. I used gelatos blood orange from the 50s diner collection. And I used another double scoop called silver ice. And once I put it all over the birdhouse, I just rub it with my fingers and it blends all around there. And now I'm going to paint over the entire thing with some chalkboard paint and let it dry. So what you're going to see next is the birdhouse is all black. And I added those feathers there with some hot glue too. Now I'm going to add some texture using this stencil by the Crafters Workshop. I just lined it right up around the base so that it all matched up on the three sides. And I went over it using a palette knife and some whipped spackle and it dries instantly. It's so great. I really love the look of it. Now what I'm showing you is the cracks that I added to the side of the house. I just used the edge of my scissors and I drew in those, I scraped off the chalkboard paint so that the gelato color would show through to look like dilapidated cracks in an old haunted house. <laughs> so now um, I'm taking the spider web from DCWV. I trimmed it up so that it would fit how I wanted it to on the front and the back of the house. I will be applying it with some gel medium. This is my first time using Faber-Castell gel medium. I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> it is really thick, which is just what you want with a gel medium. So it held that spider web perfectly. So I did a layer on the bottom and then I put it over the spider web and then I put a layer on top and let it dry. And it's, it's there, it's stuck. So now I'm showing you, I colored that rope. I used my big brush pen in black and it's great because even though it's that rope material, once the pen dried, it's permanent and it's not gonna smear off onto your fingers. Each of these little images I fussy cut from DCWV Ikaboo papers and the fall and Halloween stack. I love these images. When I see images like that, that's immediately where my brain goes is that I can't wait to cut them out <laughs> and use them somehow, especially a page like this. Oh, it just makes my, my heart flutter. It makes me so excited. So I cut out all those little pieces there. And this is from the Ikaboo 6x6 pad where I cut out the poison bottles. And each of those images that I fussy cut, I traced over with a coordinating stampers brush pen. So for the boo, I traced around it in white. And then for the fence and um, the tree there, I went over it with the violet pen. And then I just have to rub it with my fingers and it spreads around and then it's dry and it's permanent because it's India ink. It's fantastic. And then any of the other images, I just kind of shaded it with a gray since we are going for a spooky Halloween look. The gray really worked out fine and it blended even with that orange, the gray worked out really well. So here I'm showing you my favorite little trick. I had, I adhered some with foam dots there that I was showing you so that they would pop out more from the birdhouse and I didn't want the bold blocky white foam to show against my black birdhouse so I colored the edges of the foam dots with my black uh, stampers brush pen and once it dried it's permanent and you can't even see them it just blends into the background so here's some final pictures of my birdhouse I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope that I've inspired you to make one for yourself for any holiday it was a lot of fun to create. And thank you so much for stopping by and I hope I see you over at the Design Memory Craft blog. Bye.